So iOS 8 brings with it a ton of new features, and we're going to cover four of them today uh, that you might not already know about. The first is the instant selfie that you can take in iMessage. To do that, instead of just tapping the camera button and selecting a picture, uh, when you're messaging another person with iMessage, you can hold the camera button down and drag straight up, and it takes a selfie on the front camera and sends it straight away. The second applies to Verizon users. For so long, you haven't been able to have simultaneous voice and data. That is, if you're talking on the phone, you can't access anything that requires a data connection unless you're on Wi-Fi. With the iPhone 6 in iOS 8, that gets fixed. So you come into Settings, and you go to Cellular, and then you go to Enable LTE, and it gives you three options. Off, Voice and Data, Data Only. Uh, by default, iPhone 6s come with data only enabled, but you can change that, and if you select voice and data, it'll take just a moment to provision, and then you'll be able to make a call and access Google Maps, for example, while you're driving, or be on a phone call and pretend to be paying attention to your mom while you're reading Twitter. Either way, that's a quick fix, and it's something that we've wanted for a long time. Next is a feature in the app switcher. When you double press the home button, you get a list here at the top of recent contacts and favorites, people who you've contacted recently or people that you contact often. If you'd like, there's a way to turn that off. So to do that, we'll go into settings, and then we'll come here to mail, contacts, and calendars, and then we'll scroll down until we see show in app switcher. Go ahead and tap that, and these two options are enabled by default in iOS 8 and the new iPhone. To turn them off, Toggle the switches, and then when you go back to the home or to the app switcher, they aren't here at the top. And finally, one last cool feature that you might not know about in iOS 8 is location sharing. It's probably not something that you want to do with everyone that you use iMessage with, but it is possible. And it makes for a neat feature. So to do that, let's go back here. Come to privacy and then choose Location Services. When you're in there, look for the Share My Location option. And here it'll give you the people that you've shared it with, but you need to make sure that this toggle is set to On. And it will use the location from this device. If you go in there, you can also change it to different devices that you may have associated with your iCloud account. So once this is enabled, you could go to any of your contacts that you share your location with in iMessage, and if you press details at the top, it shows their current location right here within iMessage. You can choose to stop sharing your location with that person, or you can send a screenshot of your current location in iMessage by tapping send my location. Then it'll pop up a mini map here within the iMessage showing exactly where you're at. So that's it for today. Four quick and easy tips and tricks in iOS 8 that uh, are new features that we thought you might enjoy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.